In June, we have a long summer ahead of us. There could be a potential for dangerous heat for several more months. Yeah, health reporter Haley Hernandez continues our team coverage and Haley protecting yourself from both the heat and the sun starts with what you wear. Yeah, guys, absolutely. So first of all, you need sunglasses that provides UV protection for your eyes, which protects you from cancer, cataracts, losing your vision. And dermatologists also recommend sun protective clothing. Like out here, we've got rash guards and hats and sun and sunglasses. Um, but if it's been more than a couple of years since you purchased these things, you're, you, it might not be protecting you as well as you think it is. Pull out all the stops this week because the sun is going to be brutal. Dermatologist Dr. Mary Alice Hickson with Kelsey Siebold says sun hats, sunglasses, fishing shirts, and rash guards can be used in place of sunscreen. It's a great option, especially with kids, especially if you're going to be doing activities outside for long hours on end. Another great population this works for is people who are out on the water, whether they're sailing or fishing. Um, the water is going to reflect even more UV radiation and being wet, salt, sun can make sunscreen less effective. So the clothing, as long as you're wearing it, is going to give you the protection. But the clothing doesn't last forever. But they will indicate on the tag of the garment how many washes you will have until it's no longer effective. If you don't have that information, Dr. Hickson says 20 to 50 washes or about the time you notice the clothes are wearing or fading, that's your indicator that it's no longer protective. And sunglasses might be less obvious. If the glass has been exposed to sun for so many years or so many hours that the effectiveness is going to fade. So definitely if you have a trip coming up, beach trip, maybe purchase another pair of sunglasses before you go. So the good news is, is that medical experts agree that the price point doesn't matter when it comes to sunglasses. You can buy the cheapest kind, and as long as it says that it has UV protection, it's probably getting the job done. Now, if you want to know if the sunglasses that you have at home are still working for you, you can buy a UV flashlight online and do some at-home tests, or you can take it to your eye doctor and have them perform a test to determine how protective it is. Reporting live from Northwest Houston, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. Mm -hmm. Your shades are pretty fabulous, Haley. Yeah. Good reminder. Thank you.